Tech fans, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. Now, I'm Eric, your host, but today I'm here with a very special guest. This is Leon, one of the product managers over at Gigabyte, and he's gonna show us something really, really cool. Now, if you guys have followed the channel, you guys have all seen we've done already some reviews on the Gigabyte Bricks Pro, but now we have something totally different. This is the Gigabyte's Pro, basically, projector. So let's let Leon talk about this product and tell you what it's really all about. So what's up with this thing? All right, well, I do have a Brix projector that we brought here for you guys today. And just to let you guys see, it's a Gigabyte Brix projector. This isn't actually our pro model. So to actually differentiate, this is running an i3 where the Brix Pro has like an i5 or an i7. Ah, okay. The big difference that you guys want to take note of is on this one, you actually have a projector lens like you see in the graphic here. Um, this is actually a completed model, so we're going to do a quick unboxing for you guys to let you guys see what you get when you get one of these models out of one of your retailers. All right, so let's go. Let's take this thing. So let's pop right. the little cap there. Take the sure, top. why not? Let's take the little cap off over here so we see we get the little cap. Right here in the front, I'll have the cameraman zoom in. Is Here's all the nomenclature of the actual thing. If you're looking for it to purchase, this will be down in the description below. But just in case any of you people are looking for it, there it is right there. So let's get back to further unboxing. Leon's now taking the little product out of the box and you guys can see it's all completely it's wrapped sealed. Wrapped up, has a little nice, you know, clear wrap on it. It's the first layer. Let's There's just more layers, it's like an onion? Yep, it's like Ogres an onion. are like onions. Let's bring everything out so you guys they see stink? what we got. No, no, they have layers, no, they have layers. <laughs> So you get a screwdriver here for this, sorry, this is actually the rubber seal for the front for your SPDIF and also your 3.5. You get a quick start guide, a manual. You get the driver disc. I know a lot of you guys uh, recognize that, you know, with such a small form factor, we don't have a disc drive. So you might need to use another computer to actually transfer the drivers. It's just for Or just put it all on. What I did with mine, I took all the drivers off the CD and I just transferred them over to a USB stick. Right. And then I just used the USB stick. In fact, for me personally, that's what I do with the entire thing. I put my OS and everything on a large format little flash disk. And then I did everything off of that and it worked pretty good. And it's pretty simple too. So the disk is, yeah, right. And that's what most users would do. Um, the disk is mainly for convenience so you don't have to waste all that time downloading off the websites and you can do it right right after you open the product and install everything. Are you sure about that? Because like I could use this as a weapon against the freaking evil cameraman. You guys you guys want to see that? I know you do. Now he's shaking his head no like I better not and I think he drank a little bit much last night. He might get violent on me. So I'm going to skip throwing the disc at the cameraman today. We'll just not do it and say that we did. Ha! How do you like that? So look. So right. basically everything here, all you get all your cables, everything right? There. And the box is now empty. We have And we're selling the empty box for the low price of $19.99. That's right. You can get this square gigabyte box for the low price of $19.99. Send your money now. No, I'm just kidding. Or but give with purchase. Or free give and press right. With every purchase of the gigabyte bricks projector, you get a free box. Think of the value on that, folks. You guys don't just shitting you, but look, here's everything that's gone out here. The unit is very, very, very small. I mean, it, the footprint on it is almost non-existent. The only thing I've seen smaller is the Apple TV, and it's just barely larger than that. So you get a full-scale computer, i3 version, all inside of this. Now, a lot of people asked before, is it actually a full computer or is it a projector? It's actually both, it's right? It's actually three. Three so things. For, uh, so we're gonna break this down right now. Um, first thing, you get the Brix projector, of course, you get the driver disc, you have your power cables. We've included a tripod stand. Tripod stand. Right here for you. Ooh, nifty, it even screws in, folks. And Check right us here, out. we also have a mini HDMI to HDMI. Now, this is where this unit comes in handy because what you can see when we go through uh, the back aisle right now, you can see we have our power, we have our HDMI, we have a display port, we have Ethernet and we have two USB 3.0s. Now this on the bottom part of the unit is all for the computer portion. So um, you can use this as a regular computer. You can connect it to a monitor, a TV, a home theater PC. That's what this whole bottom section is for. If and I want to mention some real quick folks, and a lot of people think that you actually do have to have a total projection screen for this. You don't actually have them. A projection screen will make it better, but if you just have a blank wall in your house anywhere that's a white wall, you can hook this thing up and slap it right under the white wall. When we're done with this, we'll actually show you a quick demo just on this little thing we use to do the white balancing on our videos, and it actually shows up quite well on that. Right, and we're in a lighted room, so we're going to use the same settings. We are not going to turn anything down. We're just going to show you with the system on. Um, so moving forward, you can see right here, actually, if you zoom in, there's actually a little port right here that's an HDMI in. 
So if you have a laptop, if you have another computer that actually has an HDMI output, you can actually transfer that output over to the projector. Okay, so let's make this clear for you guys. What are you saying is you have a laptop, you can use the VGA out on that, HDMI. put it HDMI, well, HDMI, same thing, your VGA, the HDMI, okay. it's your video basic connection. You can take that, connect it into here and take that information into this little box. So that means you're not even stuck using it. You can take something and put it in tandem and just keep going. Right, so in that sense, you see we have a computer on its own, you can use a projector on its own, or you could use it together as a computer projector, all in one. All right, or let's get it down to the table. It can also be used for this, folks. Let's camera in, can you zoom down here? So say you're filming a scary B horror movie. It's the Gigabyte Bricks projector. It's coming to get you. Pick me to your leader. All right, just kidding. But anyways, we'll move on. All right, I just gotta like to have fun with here. No so what's this on the side here? So this is our focus button, right? For focusing the screen? That's a focus ring. So basically, depending on your distance from your wall or your projector screen, you can actually focus in on, focus your image so it's not as blurry or it's not, it's not it can get sharper. Yeah, it's pretty much just like those right. clocks that you buy that extends the image out. You just change right. it until it actually fits the screen perfectly. Right. On the front, we also have two USB 3.0. So if you got a high speed USB, you wanna use that to transfer everything out, you can do that works pretty quickly. Um, one thing I think the thing about these things that's really great though is that say that you're somebody who does a lot of businesses. Now, he hasn't actually talked about this, but this is what I thought about. A lot of businesses you walk into and they right off the bat, they have a projector sitting down the table and they wanna show you all of their stuff, you know, their little pie charts and all that stuff, all on their projector. Well, that projector, many times are about sixteen to $1,800 for a pretty decent one. This little unit's gonna be way less than that and you can pretty much achieve the same exact thing. Right. And we actually got a lot of feedback for that. For business users, people, you know, they take it out to meetings and then they go back to the hotel room. They can watch Netflix. They can do whatever they want with it. For teachers, for when they're actually teaching, if you have like a tablet, you can actually connect it to a tablet and you could, instead of using the old school projector films, you actually can do it on the spot. So that's really good for it. We also have included on it a built-in audio. So it actually has speakers in this. So if you don't want to be carrying around speakers, that's something else that is actually in the system. Now, is it a stereo speaker or just a small little, little one-inch speaker? It's just a small Dolby speaker. But at least you get one speaker, so that way you can at least monitor what you're doing. If you want better sound than that, which obviously some people are going to want to do, but if you're just watching slides in a room, it's not going to really matter. Plus, I've heard it tastes good with salsa. No? No, right. I don't think so. I thought I'd try. Maybe cheese? <laughs> All right, but well, that's pretty much it, folks. We're gonna actually give you guys a demo and show you guys how this thing actually works because it's a really cool little product. I know some people out there saying, wow, that's kind of a crazy, confusing product, but there is actually a market for this. Me personally, I feel this market is more like he was talking about in the business sector because if I was a business person and I was coming to your office and I had all my slides and all my stuff together and I want to show you something, this would be the perfect little traveling companion. It's small, can throw in my backpack, come right into your office, I can laugh at your equipment and just break out my little tiny gigabytes projector and away I go. That's good. But we also get people who wa actually want to use it for home theaters as well. So home theater systems, people who want to do movie nights at friends' house, that's also a good solution. Now, also that. one question we have to say, what's the resolution? It's actually WVGA, so it's 868 by 480. Okay. So it's still, it's a decent resolution. Uh, there's, you're not getting as much real estate as you usually would with the 1080p or 1920 by 1080, but it's good for those movies when you full screen it. So. Yeah. When you step back, you could hit about 70 inches on his, on a blank wall. Wow, that's pretty big. Obviously, like he's saying though, you know, with resolutions, those other projectors that have the high resolutions are also a lot, lot more money. Like they, these projectors, I've seen them into the $5,000 range for a really good one. This one's kind of made as kind of an introductory level to that market. It's not gonna compete with the super duper high end ones, but the people who don't have the money for that are gonna be like, wow, I just made a grand of savings buying this little gigabytes projector. That's right. All right, well, now let's go ahead and let's actually show you guys how this little bad boy works. All right, folks, so check it out. I know this isn't like the absolute greatest demo in the, in the world because I don't have like any movies. This system doesn't have an OS or anything on it, but we want to still show you guys how the projector works. So here you guys can see we have the Gigabyte logo up on our little white balance screen. And like we said before, you can adjust like this. You guys can see it goes out of focus and then I can totally adjust it until it comes into focus or blurs completely out of focus depending where you're going. Now, if we had a bigger, better screen, we can make this larger. Like he said earlier, Leon said this will go up to 70 inches, which is huge. It's basically about the biggest that most TVs you can go buy. So you can have that 70 inches of paradise right on your wall. Now, the resolution may not be the most highest, greatest high resolution in the world, but you'll still be able to watch it and enjoy that at 70 inches.
All right, and just want to make note, we are in a lit room. We haven't changed anything so far. All we did is we just turned it on for you guys just to give you guys a look at how big the screen is, how bright it is, and we're about just two, two and a half feet, three feet away from the screen right now. Yeah, I mean, that's really amazing because actually, you know, to film these videos for you folks, we actually have to have the room very, very well lit. So you can say this room is lit enough to film a video on, and still, you can see the brightness of the projector is still ass kicking, so that's pretty good. That means even in a totally well lit room, you can hook up the bricks projector, put it on your wall, and boom, away you go with no BS. All right, folks, so there you guys have it. The Gigabytes Bricks Projector. Now, like we said, this thing's really small, really efficient, has a really great price on it as well. From the demo that you guys can see, it works very simply. And for those people out there who wanna like change it up, use walls, use all those things, you have many, many options. Ain't that right? Yep. So we have lots of more stuff coming this year from Gigabyte. Gigabyte has a lot of new products coming out this year. We'll try to cover as many as possible. In fact, we just got a brand new little mini board from this guy that we're going to be bringing you guys a little steam box. So be paying attention to the channel because we got lots more from Gigabyte coming up for you this year. Leon, thank you very much for coming by. We appreciate having you on the show and we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.